Hello, I pray you are well this day and I pray that God has given you his hope, his confidence, even in the midst of changing circumstances and uncertainty. Can I encourage you to read 1 Peter if you haven't been doing it, that it gives a mind foundation for your hope, a confident expectation that God has acted and will act. In chapter 4, in verse 1, it says, Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves with the same attitude. For whoever suffers in the body is done with sin. As a result, they don't live the rest of their earthly lives for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. And in verse 7, the end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind that you may pray. And above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. In this time, do you see what other people do not see? I'm not talking about trying to figure out this virus and how it acts and what occurs, but I'm asking, do you see what other people do not see as far as humans, people, their souls, their lives? I want to show you a picture. You know what those are? Those are water striders. My brothers and I, when my parents would take us up to see our grandparents in northern Wisconsin, we would run around the forest and play in the barn and and sometimes we would run down the road and play in the culvert that is the creek went through it and in that water were these water striders that simply stayed at the surface they were held up by the surface tension i guess i see a lot of surface tension right now that people are only thinking about what's at the surface and the question here is, he says, what's your attitude right now? May we have the attitude of Jesus during this time. And will we, will, will we live the rest of our earthly lives this way? That's the question. That we might live for the will of God. What will be the new normal? How will your life be different? What will be the same? What will be distinct? The end of all things is near, he writes in verse 7. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind. Be awake. So that, hear it, you may pray. You are a powerful person because of the mercy of God in your life and that you may pray. Please pray. Use that gift that God has given. Be of sober mind and alert that you may pray. And above all else, taking everything in consideration, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. During this pandemic, Maybe it's time to actually let it go. Whatever that hurt was that you carry, that is painful, that is difficult. You know, if it's has it ever happened to you some years ago, I wanted to make amends and do what was right by a person because I had spoken unkindly to them and it bothered me as I became more serious about my Christian faith and I, I sought them out. I said, I want to apologize. And the person actually responded back to me, who are you? Do you understand? It was bothering me. They had long since forgotten it, but it was being used as something in my mind that was churning again and again and again. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Forgive and be forgiven. Let it go. Do you see what other people do not see? Or are you simply living on the surface of the tension right now, just like a water strider? I pray. I pray for your attitude. I pray for your desire to pray. And I pray for your love, that you know you're loved and you love. We have an opportunity to love. We've been asked to have a relationship with one of the local hospitals, and that is to support those who serve there on the front lines. And if you are interested in being part of that activity, can you please email me at jschrank at cclphoenix.org, and we will find ways as they ask us to be able to support them. Please pray with me. Lord God, may we live lives that don't just live at the surface, May you give us the attitude of Jesus. May we be alert and sober that we may pray. And above everything else, may we love 
May we love deeply. May we love actually. May we love the people you've given to us in our life with your power, your strength, your forgiveness, and your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you on this day.